Hello everyone, welcome to this room tour at the Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. You are watching Here I Go Travel Company. Please subscribe to support the contents of this channel. And visit my website at www.hereigotravelcompany.com to book your next trip to Las Vegas or anywhere else in the world. Walking into this standard room, we are in the Palace Tower. There is a safe inside the closet. It seems quite small. I will be putting a laptop, actually two of them in here, along with some other things. I'll probably have to put them at an angle to make them fit. There is an iron and ironing board here and plenty of hangers, luggage rack. Taking an immediate right, we will walk into the restroom here and keep in mind there are mirrors everywhere in this room. There's no way I'm gonna be able to stay out of this video. This has both a bathtub and there's not big jets on here, but it looks like there may be tiny jets. Maybe some air bubbles will be created. So I will have to take a soak, figure this out. This bathroom offers two vanities, two mirrors. There is actually some storage space below these sinks. Open up here. This has a true water closet. If you have checked out my video from my last visit, we stayed at the Tropicana, a Hilton property, which is on the very south end of the strip. This time we are what I call mid strip. So Caesars Palace is a gigantic property with multiple towers and this being the palace tower. So we have shower and tub option, but this is a nice big bathroom for a standard room. Moving on, we have a sitting area here with mirror and lights. You could do your makeup, you could sit and have a meal, whatever you would like to do with that area. This happens to be a connecting room, so it has a door there. It has this wall unit, it includes the television set. It includes some storage here, cubbies and doors for storage there. Let's talk about the mini bar. So this reads and indicates if you remove any products so if you have kids, um, most properties will allow you to request no mini bar. They can lock these items so that nothing can be messed with. There is a note on the refrigerator that anything removed from this will be billed to you. And if you should use this for personal use, you will be billed $75 per day for use of the refrigerator. Here there is some drawer and cubby storage again. There's plenty of storage in these rooms. Nice deep drawers. There is a table here. Not your typical office workspace, but a place you could certainly set up and work. And this is a lovely view with really very long windows, floor to ceiling. Now there are some good things about this view. There are some bad things about this view. The bad thing is in the foreground, we have parking garage and parking lot. Not pretty folks, but in the background, we definitely have some mountain view. We do not have strip views from here, but we can get a couple of the resorts here. We have the Mirage next door, across the street, the Wynn and Encore properties, the Palazzo, the Venetian. Down here in the foreground is the Forum, 
where shows are performed here at Caesar's Palace. And I hope to get you out uh, and about in this part of the strip so you can look at some of that. So please subscribe so you can stay tuned and watch some of the fun adventures from this trip. And I'm gonna focus in across the highway here is a Carvana vending machine. If you've never seen one, if you don't have those in your city, very interesting. You can car shop from a vending machine. Here in the corner, we have a sitting area with lamps. And I thought I had booked a king room, but boy, that does not look like a king, does it? It even seems scrunched in from the, from the end tables here. So, hmm, looks more like a queen to me. There is drawer storage on each side of the bed here. And there are USB ports in the lamps. I want to thank you for joining me on this room tour at Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for joining me.